applied to selection of the best vein. A good vein will be palpable, large and bouncy. You shouldn't necessarily be able to see it, but you do need to feel it. The anterior cubital fossa provides access to the basilic, cephalic and median cubital veins. Veins on the dorsum of the hand are great for cannulation. They're easily visualised when looking for signs of infection, they're accessible and they won't interfere with the patient's movements. Here we demonstrate how stretching the skin and anchoring the vein straightens it to allow for an easier cannulation. Finding a point where two veins converge will provide a good entry site for cannulation. The cephalic vein on the radial side of the forearm is another good option for gaining intravenous access. To enlarge the vein, place a tourniquet below the elbow. Taking time to select the best vein and preparing properly will make any clinical skill easier.